Brand PLR Wallpapers with your logo by PLR.me. As a member of PLR.me, you'll receive a new collection of 20 wallpapers with inspirational quotes each month. You can brand these wallpapers so that they will represent your business by adding your logo to the wallpapers. There are many software applications you can use to add your logo. One of the major applications available for both Windows and the Mac is Photoshop. Here we are using the photo new Photoshop CS4, but the procedure is the same for earlier versions. Start by opening your logo image. This should be an image that has a transparent background. Use the Marquee Selection tool to select the entire logo and copy this selection to the clipboard. Close the logo image. Now open a wallpaper. In Photoshop, one of the primary tools is the Layers panel. Here's the Layers panel. As you'll see, the wallpaper has been designated as the background. Now add a new layer. Let's name that Logo. Now in the Layers panel, the Logo layer is above the background layer, although you can't see it. The Logo layer is completely transparent and is showing the entire background layer behind it. Now let's paste the Logo image into the Logo layer. You see that it's far too large and the wrong position. Let's start by scaling the image down to the proper size. You'll find the scale command under Edit, Transform. Now grab a corner and drag the corner to reduce the size. You see that the logo image is not constrained to its original dimensions, but in most cases you can eyeball it. Now we want to move the logo image down to the corner of the wallpaper, so let's choose the Move tool. There's only one more step, and it's optional. With the logo layer selected, you can change the opacity if you wish. You'll find the opacity control in the upper right corner of the Layers panel. Click on it and you get a slider control. Slide this down to about 50%. Now you have a partially transparent logo branding your PLR.me wallpaper or other image. And that's all there is to it. If you think you might want to do further editing on this project, save it as a Photoshop native. If you want to use this branded image for other applications, go to the Layers menu and choose Flatten Image. Then you can save the branded image as a JPEG. So take full advantage of your PLR.me trial offer. Learn to brand your wallpapers and other images. Get started now at PLR.me. That's www.plr.me.